Hello, and welcome to Treaker, The Lost Glasses. So, this is a game that I picked up in an indie game bundle, I think it was Indie Royale, a couple of weeks ago, or something like that, I can't quite remember. But, during that time, or at that time, the game was not on Steam, but apparently it's been greenlit, or whatever happened to it, it's on Steam now, so you can check it out. And I figured, after Cairo, this would be a good game to check out, because it's also a first-person puzzle, maybe platformer, I'm not entirely sure. I almost know nothing about this game, I just checked part of the trailer, I didn't even watch the entire trailer, but it looked interesting enough, I like the graphic style, and I'm a sucker for first-person puzzlers, so I wanted to give it a shot. So here we are, and I don't know, from my first impressions, it looks kinda like Cairo mixed with maybe a bit of Lovely Planets in the art style, and Grow Home sort of similar as well. I was actually surprised how tiny the game was. I downloaded the DRM-free version at first, and it was like a SIP archive that was 70 megabytes or something like that, which is nothing. So I thought, this game is probably not going to be very long, but then again, all the textures are very, very simplistic and un uncompressed, unpacked, uh, and downloaded on Steam, this is like 200 plus megabytes. So it's not a big game, but maybe it'll be at least a couple episodes. We'll see how it all works out, what kind of game it is, if it's worth your time and mine. And yeah, let's let's just get into it, I suppose. So this is built in Unity, which means that there is no, not really anything in terms of the uh, settings menu. There's language, you can switch it to Portuguese, because this game is Portuguese, apparently, and the camera orientation and motion blur. I have this off because, for one thing, I'm not a fan of motion blur in at the best of times, but when you're recording as well, motion blur just tends to fuck with things. So, I'll leave this off for now, but it is a bit of a shame you can't change the, uh, anything, you can't change the quality, you can only change if you want vSync on or off in the Unity launcher, you can't change the uh, resolution, nothing. So that's a bit of a problem, and there's more problems, like with audio mixing, we'll see how the audio gets or turns out in this first episode, and there's also some sensitivity issues, but we'll get into that as we get into the game. So let's just start new game. I haven't done anything, I've just started new, the new game to check out that everything was recording properly, so let's do it. The Lost Glasses! Hooray! And now you get to choose, read notes, or set sail. I set sail before just to test the recording, so I haven't checked this out, so let's check out what the notes are about. 1678, East Flag Vessel Captain is seen with a pair of uncanny glasses. The day after the report, the captain is missing and the vessel gets plundered. Rumors says, say he's gone in search for an unknown treasure. I'm telling the truth. I saw the auroras and many symbols. I could even see another. What? And thus, realizing no one would believe, he gave up. Over the next days, everyone have forgotten the event and are back to the sea. What? Wait, what? How does this make any sense? I'm not quite sure what is referring to what, but whatever. I glimpsed eyes and dared not continue. This quote is from a logbook recently discovered. It appears nothing important is here, but if I take a closer look... He says a valuable object was lost, but not said what it was. Or that should be, but didn't say what it was. He showed us some weird codes and drawings. Who is talking? Is it me? Is it the character? Is it a crew member of the ship? I don't know. Uh, weird codes and drawings. Something none of us have ever seen before. Seems to be a delusion. The captain returned on the damaged vessel. He says there was ice everywhere, but could not, <clears throat> excuse me, could not see what collided. We have no idea how he managed to come back with the vessel in such conditions. What? Okay. Oh, I see, yeah. More details have not been given. Sailing chart? Sailing chart! On docking from the southeast coast, I go forth for the light for the lighthouse. I'll keep going east over the, the cold waters. 
A small island with the remains of the last wreck will show me the way. I see, so that's just the story, and if I go here, it's just looping. So, I wonder if we'll get more of these as we go to different locations, if this is just one of the many islands, or if this is the entire game. Who knows, but let's set sail. On my journey to find the glasses, my ship suddenly crashed in something not visible. Where am I? I'm not gonna do a voice, sorry. And here we are. And first thing you might notice... Camera sensitivity is fucking nuts! This is insane! I never played with sensitivity this high, and there are no options for sensitivity, so what I have to do is turn down my mouse sensitivity as well as I, or as much as I can. This is really slow, but even then, it's still super quick, so that's one of the main issues I have so far with the game, but as long as I just look around a little bit more carefully, then I guess it won't be a problem. But as you can see, the art style is really nice. I'm really liking the look of this. It's very bright, very sunny and all that. I like bright and sunny games with water and stuff. I also did notice that if you go into the water, you start freezing. And then your your glasses glasses crack or something. I don't know what that's supposed to signify, but I guess I guess you die. And there's also an issue with uh, or not issue, but there's two keys that you have beyond just W, A, S, and D. You can sprint with shift, you can jump with space, but there's also interact and glasses set to F and E. And I'm going to assume that I want to swap those so that interact is on E, because that's the normal, the standard. But we'll see, I guess. I don't know what they do, so we'll see when I actually find the glasses or find anything to interact with, like this, pressing F. Oh, also, they... Uh, he added some controller support, apparently. This wasn't here when I tested the game a couple weeks ago or a week ago or whatever that was. So, that's cool, I guess. I'm not going to play with a controller, but maybe the sensitivity would be better on a controller. Who knows? But let's read this. Basic controls. Ran? Ran. Does it say run? Oh, it does say run. Run with shift or left bumper, I guess that is. Jump with space or right bumper. You can jump farther while running. I see. Yeah, well, that that makes sense. Jumping like this, or jumping like this. Of course. Basic stuff. I don't know what this is. You can't interact, you can't click on it, nothing. So, I guess we're just following this. So, beyond this point, I have not done anything, so this is all new now. So, let's take a look. So, I guess this is, like, here to show you that if you go into the water, you start freezing, but if you get up in time, then it's fine, just to show you, hey, don't go into the water, dummy. So that's cool. You can jump across here. Alright. Nothing big. How far can I get? I wonder. Can I, like... And what happens when I die? Do I get sent back there? Or where I come from? Let's try this. So if I do this, I try to skip across the lake. That was... Almost a success. You can get pretty far, and it's kind of weird how you can actually jump while in the water just fine. You can just skip across the surface, I guess. I didn't know that. Ooh, music. That was nice. Let's listen to the music a little bit. I don't know if there are any collectibles or anything like that. Probably not. We'll see, I guess, as we go along. I really want to get to that island. There's probably nothing there. I thought over there was something, but that's where we started, so never mind. But there is this major island with tons of floating islands and trees and windmills and loads of fun stuff, so let's check this out. What's this? Is this like a checkpoint? No? Maybe this is where I respawn or something? I don't know. Interact. Follow the sands and you might find it. Okay, 
So, sand paths equals progression, I guess, but I don't want to follow the sand. I want to go where I'm not supposed to go. Like this rock. Try not jumping into the water. There's more than just water. Do you mean there's ice, or do you mean there, that there's, like, sharks and stuff? Because I think the ice would get me first. Oh god, almost slipped. I don't know about the frame rate. It seems to drop a bit sometimes. And as I've said, there is no way to reduce the quality. Ow, god, ow, there's fall damage. I didn't know that either. All right, so don't jump from giant heights, noted. But yeah, it does seem to drop a few frames here and there. Or does it? It's kind of keeping at 60, but it looks like it's choppy, so I don't know. Hopefully that won't get too bad, hopefully it won't become a problem later on in the series, because I would like to record this game, and I think my computer should be able to handle it. It's just a case of the game probably not being super optimized, and there's not really many many ways you can change that. Maybe turning on V-Sync would help, I doubt it, it never really seems to do. Can I? I see, so wait, there's like, yeah, there's like stamina or something? He gets tired if I just run forever? Maybe? It was like I couldn't run for a while. Yeah, now I can't run. I'm out of breath. So I guess that answers my question of why wouldn't you just always sprint? Because you can't. Oh. What is this? Hello? No? Some constellation? Or something? I don't know. Hmm. So there doesn't seem to be anything here. What about underneath this? Wait. Other side? No. It's a pretty nice sun effect, though. I like it. Nothing here. So I guess we can only go up the cliff. Oh, and as for all my pilot episodes, I'll give a disclaimer now. I'll probably try to keep it a bit shorter, because... Oh, oh that is something new. Do I want to go here? Or do I want to go up there? Hmm. Maybe that's what they meant by following the sands. Not following these paths, but following the beach. Getting to something here. Guess we'll check this out. But yeah, for the first episode, I'll try to keep it a bit shorter than I probably normally would. Just to make sure everything is... Recording all right, rendering all right, uploading all right, and all the right stuff. Okay, there's another sign thing here, and what are these? I don't know. My first instinct is just checkpoints, but they don't make any checkpoint boopy sound, so I can't really be sure. Is that a person? Interact. Touch the energy of the sun at 3 p.m. and it will fade away. It's always 3 p.m. in this island. On this island it should be, but alright. I guess there's gonna be a couple of grammar mistakes if this game is made by... Well, don't take that the wrong way, but just... I guess having a few grammar mistakes is excusable, seeing as the game is from Portugal. That still sounds wrong. I'm sorry, I don't mean to insult any Portuguese people's English. Oh, it's the glasses. Do I want to get the glasses right now, or do I want to check this out first? I guess I'm going there later on, so... I'll grab the glasses now, so we actually get to see the glasses before I end the episode. Interact. An energy field is protecting the glasses. I see. Wait, what did it say here? Yeah, 3 p.m. interact. What? Oh, 3 p.m. I wanted to be 
Oh, I see! So, because shadows, this is how shadows or sundials work, where the shadow points is where, what time it is. So I want to move it here to 3 p.m., and now move up here. Hooray! I worked it out! I am a puzzler! Could these be the legendary glasses? I need to use them now! Press E! Uh... What are they doing? Is anything different? Let's check out the island like this. Oh! Yeah, the lighthouse is shining in this view. And there are some some objects that appear. Is there like a meter or something? Can I use these forever? Apparently, so I guess you should just keep switching all the time and check if you're missing something that isn't there in one world and so on. Oh? No, never mind. Just the light. Yeah, dimensional shifting is not really a new comp... or a new, uh... what is it called? Concept. I was gonna say complex, but concept or mechanic. A new mechanic, but I guess it's alright. Bring the lighthouse light into this dimension. I see. So basically, get the lighthouse to shine when I don't have the glasses on. Alright, that sounds simple enough, though it's probably not going to be simple enough. So if I turn this on and read this, it's the same. So, so far it doesn't seem like anything exists only when I don't have the glasses on, but things can only exist... Wait, okay, so... It seems like everything that's here in the non-glasses world will be there in the glasses world, but there might also be extra stuff in the glasses world, if that makes any sense. So let's put these on here. Still nothing. Don't know what these are. Invisible checkpoints, maybe there's something later on in the game. I have a feeling I should go back. Ah. Uh, I might just do that. Give me one moment, I'll just go back to the start and see if there's anything with the glasses. There is nothing! Great! Oh! Hmm, okay, that's not anything with the glasses, but maybe we can get over there somehow in the future? That certainly looks suspicious. But, yeah, nothing here. Guess I'll go back. The music is very nice. Oh, this actually... Oh, wow. Holy shit. This really gives me an Aquaria vibe. Oh, no, it's gone. Damn, why is the music so brief? That sounded a lot like Aquaria, if you know that game. It's a really, really good 2D platforming, ocean, aquatic thing game. It's, it's really nice. I played it, so I don't really want to play it on the that ah, the channel again, but I don't know, maybe in the future. It's such a good game. I love Aquaria. Oh, I didn't read this before. Yeah, that sounded very reminiscent of the uh, music in Aquaria. Hello? You can't drown in these waters, but you can't sail as well. What? What does that mean? You can drown? Well, I guess you can freeze. The water is, like, ice cold, even though this is a tropical island. I also don't know if this is a game made by a single man, or if it's a team, or anything about that. So, take everything with a grain of salt, I suppose, for some reason. Yeah, really nice music the short moments of music that there are. Oh god. Yeah, nothing really here. I guess I'll... Maybe I'll just go up there, and then maybe we'll just leave it for now. So I haven't really done much. Just looked around, 
got the glasses, I suppose, and maybe we can do more next time, because I don't want to get too long-winded now. And hopefully the frame rate doesn't end up being a problem. If it is, I guess I could not record in 108060, and I'll play the game in windowed mode. I think you can do that, I hope. So maybe I'll do that and record in 720 instead. I really do want the 60 FPS. I really think games nowadays should be in 60 on YouTube. It's a bit of a problem. I actually have a laptop that can't play back 60 FPS in 720 or 1080. It just doesn't work. It's like too laggy or something. So there might be pro people that have that problem, but sorry, I guess. You can make do with 480p, I hope, but... I just really, really like watching in 60 FPS on YouTube, even though this is quite choppy at the moment. I don't know what is doing that. Maybe I should try the V-Sync just to see if it helps. It probably won't, but maybe I'll try it for the next one. I'm just gonna read this. Remember, a dot is faster than a dash. What? Oh! Oh! Morse! Morse code! I see! Yeah! So, what does that have to do with anything? Uh, I don't know. Am I supposed to do Morse code with my glasses? Or maybe once I get up to the, the lighthouse, I'll send for SOS or something? I don't know, but we'll check that out next time. We'll also see how the saving works, because I don't know if, if I quit now, where am I going to end up? Am I going to end up way back where I left? left the, or started? Or is it gonna be at the recent, most recent one of those tiny little blobs in the sand? I don't know, but we'll see next time. So, so far I'm quite intrigued by this game, I'm really liking the look of it, and the very limited music is quite nice, and holy shit, look at all the moving sky platforms over there, there's apparently gonna be some platforming. We'll see about everything, how much this game is platforming, how much is puzzling, and how much is unique, how much is exploration, all that good stuff. So, hope you'll join me next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!